can't see, but she's got yarn. We're at, where are we? We're in Pigeon Forge at the Dixie Stampede. Uh, several. Do Dolly Martin, the Dolly Parton Stampede. The Dolly Parton Stampede. It is, isn't it the same thing? I, I'm assuming it is. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't cheap. It better be right. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go in there. Hopefully, we can take some pictures and share it with you all. So. Come join, come join us. Looking, looking fine. We're all friends at Supper Town. Now, when that chicken hits your plate, grab a fork, don't hesitate. You hungry? Using fingers is all right. It's nice and hot. Why, it's the only civilized thing. Forks are fingers, it ain't no crime. That's how we eat at Supper Town. We have fun. Because trouble stops. With nothing tops, Supper Town's our favorite time of day. Cause later on, we're gonna hose you down. Don't need manners when we dine. We're a mess at supper time. Grunting, slurping like a swine. Sure it's fun at supper time. Now can I get a mm -hmm? How about a yum, yum? Well, if you really like this meal, then you tell your server just how you feel. On the count of three, y'all grunt and squeal. One. Some folks will do for some good old country cooking. Hey, how's the north side doing? Well, now you are really catch it on. Just eat until your meal's gone. If you're finished, don't just let it find. Yes, you all are. Come on, y'all. Supper time. That's right, supper time. It's our favorite, favorite time of Folks, I am sorry about this. This here is Skeeter, and he works out back in the barn. Woo, howdy, y'all. I'm Skeeter. I work out back in the barn. What's up, everybody? What's I just what said that Skeeter. I don't know. It's, it's barbecue. Skeeter. So we're in a Dolly Parton stampede in Pigeon Forge. This is a gift shop. And Tim says, I don't need anything. <laughs> so we're headed upstairs. Upstairs. This music, I'm not going to be able to play this. Hey, if we get these, you think you can get yours home without breaking it? Yeah, I'm not going to use it. Uh, here. Cowgirl, I like that. Cowgirl mug. I used to consider myself a cowgirl, not anymore. I've lived several lives. <laughs> this is what we should get Gunner. He would love this. He wants me to get him this Uzi up at this other store, but I bet you. This what? Join the Stampede. $24, what you get. Oh, look, there's a Sadie. I got a little Sadie. I got to get it. It's not too terribly painful. wonder if there's a Susie. Is there a Susie? I wonder why there's a Sadie. I wonder if there's a dog mascot here or something. They got... That's funny. They got a Sadie. Look. They don't have a Susie. I want to get one of these. Which one looks like her the most? Let's see. There's one that's got short hair. Whoa. That would be Archer's. That would be Marbear. My Pooh Bear. This is too stinking cute. Yes, I'm getting that. Oh, Ow. I'm sorry. There's one with short hair. This one's cuter. That's what she'll look like eventually. Only one of can wear it, son. Where do you pay for this stuff? It's fifty. It looks good.
Big horns. We gotta go upstairs. Um, yeah, just head up the staircase to the second floor down the hall. Take a right. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Enjoy. for another table. Isn't that special? <laughs> church of God. Lake Hills Church. We would also like to welcome all of our veterans, active service members, and first responders attending our show. We here at Dolly Parker State Key, thank you for your time. We'd like you to take a look around the facility and familiarize yourself with all the emergency exits designated by the illuminated exit signs. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please proceed to these exits in a calm and orderly manner. The Tennessee State Fire Marshal's Office has requested that there be absolutely no smoking or the use of open flame, especially lighters, in the theater. Audio and video recording is prohibited. You're welcome to take all the photos you'd like and feel free to post them on Facebook or TripAdvisor. However, for the safety of our performers, we ask that you refrain from any flash photography. For your convenience, restrooms are located on either side of the upper level. Steed Scout. So everybody say hi, Scout. Hi, Scout. Oh, Scout sure does appreciate that. Now, folks, tonight we are going to settle a great regional rivalry, and we aim to settle it once and for all with the help of each and every one of you fine folks. So with that thought in mind, let's make some noise on the count of three. Let me hear you. One, two, three. Unfortunately, there will come a time during these proceedings when you are not going to be able to hoot and holler like you just did. You're not going to be able to clap your hands. You're not even going to be able to whistle. And why is that? 
Well, you'll have a corn cob in one hand, the tater in the other, and a chicken gizzard stuck right in your craw. <laughs> it's bound to happen, folks, I guarantee it. So what are you gonna do then? I, well, it seems like a few of you folks have been here before. That's right. Every time you hear me say the word stampede, you are gonna pound your feet on the four boards and make all the noise you can. So right now, let me hear both sides as loud as you can. Stampede! Oh, now folks, I gotta tell you, you were sounding magnificent. But since this is a competition, let's go ahead and lay down some boundary lines right here. Oh. Ain't got the sparks of a rock. Ain't that right, Norm? Who did you hear what they just Sounds like fighting words to me, doesn't it to you? Yeah. That's right. Now, I am sure that you don't need me to tell you, but you fine folks are going to be representing the pride of the South. <laughs> and all Southerners, and I mean all Southerners, can agree on this one simple fact, and that is that anybody from the North, and well, I think we all know who they are. Well, they ain't nothing but a bunch of foul-smelling, gold-digging, pig-slopping pole cats that couldn't punch their way out of a wet paper bag. Ain't that right, Sam? <laughs> well, I do believe that Scout and I have done our jobs in introducing both sides to one another. Now I believe that you are ready to meet the teams that will be competing for you here tonight. So why don't y'all go ahead and help us bring them on out with a great big stampede! <laughs>
What thrills and adventures The only place to be So stand up and cheer at the that each of our riders shares with their horse. Now to show you a divided the sides and shown you just a taste of the exciting horsemanship that is our show. But now we'd like to slow things down just a little bit and take you on a midnight ride to experience the magic of romance.
Gather around the campfire and join our tambourine. There's a pot of gold. 
<laughs> oh man. Ooh, and some folks will do it. This is a good old country cooking. Hey, how's the north side doing? Well, now you're really catching on. Just eat until your meal is gone. If you're finished, don't just wait. You can grab some off of your neighbor's plate. In every language known to man, nothing speaks like supper pan. Now, folks, would you say this food is mighty fine? Yes, you all are. Come on, y'all. Supper time. That's right, supper time. It's our favorite, favorite time of Thank you, Kevin. Well, now that the jet wagon is making its rounds and everybody's settling down for some serious belly button. Hey, Justin, hold on, man. I gotta talk to you about something. Folks, I am sorry about this. This here is Skeeter, and he works out back in the barn. Woo, howdy, y'all. I'm Skeeter. I work out back in the barn. What's up, everybody? I just said that, Skeeter. Hold on. Know. This ain't it's about Scout, is it? Well, no, Scout's fine. He's in the stall. He's in his head. He's good. Listen, this is about me. I came out here. To see if I could be in the show. It could be my big break. Skeeter, we have talked about this. You cannot be in the show. Why not? Oh, come on, man. You can't even ride a horse. Well, yes, I can. I ride quarter horses. Oh, you ride quarter horses. Good. That's right. Matter of fact, I was on me a quarter sure, horse just bread. the other day. And we're out riding and getting on a pretty good clip, too. When all of a sudden, woo -wee, he went plumb crazy on me. He bucked me off. I got my foot caught in the stirrup and he drug me this way. And he drugged me that way. He drugged me for what seemed like an there. eternity. <laughs> well, how did you get him to stop? That Walmart manager came out and unplugged him. <laughs> Skeeter, you cannot be in the show. Please? No. Pretty please. No. So you're saying no? Yes. I said, yes, y'all heard it. I'm going to be in the show. <laughs> no, Skeeter, that is not what I meant. Oh, never mind. Well, folks, as I was trying to tell you, Right now, we are about to bring out some of the finest riders this side of the Colorado River. And they are prepared to show each and every one of you in here tonight the thrilling skills of trick riding. Right now, welcome to the arena, the eighth wonder of the world from Seymour, Tennessee. It's Allison Roberts. Joining her in the arena tonight, take a gander at this Michigander from Saginaw, Michigan. She's back again. It's Carly Baxland Ride.
fast-paced action indeed from those two talented trick riders, but now we take you to my very favorite part of the show. Why, it's a good old-fashioned square dance, but don't you know that here we do our square dance stampede style. And here come our dancers now. Dancers, you get your hands to clapping, folks on the map. Why don't you get your toes to tapping? Hey, y'all join in and so cool, right? You can break big kids for having a good night. Now you got it, you're right on track. Change directions, now half like that. Two ladies in the center and back again. Now the other cowgirls just like your friends. Once you found your honey, babe, will y'all join hands and you promenade? All you square dancers are doing a fantastic job out there. Chance to the center from Cowboy Star Girls, carry on just like you are. Now the ladies go in and the cats go time. out. She's a pretty little thing, there ain't no doubt. Ladies back now, Jack's back in, and it did so well, but I'm doing it again. Four square dance girls go around the outside, around the outside. When you come to your partner, promenade, now you head back home, you got it, man. Folks, I don't care how square dancers out with a drink, baby. Yeah. 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 All right, boy, you get your left hand right back to your partner for the right leg. Parker Whiskers, all the way around that pretty little thing. Swing to your partner once she's found. Everybody circle around. Folks, one more time. Let me hear you get a loud now. Slurping and laughing while I even heard a group of ladies over here burping in three part harmony. <laughs> Woo! Wait! Did I see it right there? Square dancing horses. That's pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> Woo, lady! You tearing that chicken up, ain't you? Yeah, that arrow's good. Skater. Hey, skater. What the? Skater. Well, the skater. Where are you at? In the arena where I'm supposed to be. Oh. What are you doing back out here? Who left your cage open? Justin, I'm mighty glad you're out here, buddy, because I got something you are going to absolutely love. Hey, y'all bring the wagons on in. Wagons? Yeah. What the? There are no wagons in this part of the show, Skater. What the? What are you doing up in the audience? You'll see. How's everybody doing tonight? Sound good. I need to find myself an audience volunteer. Let's see who we got. Oh, excuse me, Miss. Hey, where are you headed? <laughs> she got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Give me a hand. I'll show you a shortcut. Come on, girl. <laughs> I'll get a bad real bad. Here's a tip for you. <laughs> Hold it. All right, follow down the stairs. I'll help you out. Let's make some noise for you. Give a round of applause, everybody. Come on. Right, step right on there. Here you go. Wait right here, don't run off, I'm gonna hop in here and head it down, okay? So sit on this ledge right here and swing your legs over. There you go, easy. There's one and two, very good. Now, put your hands in mine. We're gonna take it slow, okay? Nice and easy, easy girl, easy, easy. You ate all your dinner now, didn't you, darling? Skater. <laughs> oh, I'm teasing, what's your name? Where you from? Hey, I'll give it up for Lucy from Alabama! Now, all I need you to do is put your 
right hand on the wagon and your right foot on that step right there for me. There we go. That's Lucy, you have the right foot. I'm tired, y'all. There I'm getting. I'm getting. Give your hand to my buddy. He's going to climb on up. There you go. All right, Lucy. Now, I want you to step on that little step, and then I want you to get in that barrel. I that shortcut to the bathroom I sent you about right there. Oh, it's hot, <laughs> Skeeter. What is going on out here? You interested in making some extra money? Of course I am, but uh, what's the connection? You see, Lucy? I do. We're here in just a second. I'm going to have her hide down in the bear where you can't see her. I see. We're going to shuffle these wagons up, and if you can tell me where she is when we get done shuffling, I'll give you 20 bucks. And then you'll leave. Then I'll leave. All right, buddy. Just make it quick. I've got a show to do. All right. All right, Lucy. Hide down in the bear. Fingers too, honey. It kind of blows the whole effect. All right, there. We go. I shall shuffle up. All right, Skeeter. So you got the girl down in the barrel, and now you're shuffling up. Hold on a second, Skeeter. Is this your big shuffling thing? Justin, this is my big shuffling thing. This is supposed to throw me off track. Hang on a second. It ain't throwing you off the tracks. No, Skeeter, it's not throwing anybody off track. In fact, I'm pretty sure that everyone in this arena knows that your girl Lucy is down there in that far barrel. All uh, right, hey, Lucy, be a sweetheart and stand up. Hey, there she is, right where I said she'd be. Now you owe me twenty dollars. Justin, you're pretty good at this. Thank you. Hey, hold on a second, Skeeter. Uh, what you got that hundred dollar bill there for? Oh, I brought this along to you. Might want to play again. Same game. Same game. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Hey, you got yourself another deal. All right. All right, Lucy, you're doing real good, honey. Okay. Hide back down in that barrel, y'all. Shovel the wagons up. Music maestro. Hit it. All right, Skeeter. Let me get this straight one more time. This time I tell you where the girl is after. This time I tell you where the girl is and you give me a hundred dollars. I'll give you a hundred dollars. Ooh, easiest hundred dollars I'm ever gonna win. That's what we think, Charlie. You didn't get nine. What was that? I said, do you know where the girl is this time? Of course I know where the girl is at this time. She's right here in the center barrel. All right, Lucy, be a sweetheart and stay up. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. She ain't there. She down here. Thank you, sir. Okay, now, Justin, you are my good buddy. I'm gonna give the rare opportunity to win your money back. Okay, Lucy? Back down in the barrel. Y'all shuffle flagons up. Music maestro, come on. Skeeter, what just happened? I took your money, that's what happened. What's <laughs> that girl? She should have been right there in that center barrel. Yeah, you're right. She should have been. But guess what? What? She wasn't. All right, Skeeter. Another hundred dollars says that your girl went from right up there to right down there. All right, Lucy, be a sweetheart and stand up. Well, we're back down here, thank you, sir. You get over here, Skeeter, double or nothing. <laughs> Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? You're like an ATM here, buddy. Let's see you're doing good. Hide back down in that barrel. Y'all shuffle the wagons up. Music maestro with it before he changes his mind. Oh, I'm not changing my mind because I got your little game figured out now. What's your little plan? I'm going to keep my eyes on that barrel the entire time. Now, hang on a second. That brown one? Yes, the brown one. Are you talking about that one right there with the black stripe on it? They are all brown with black stripes on them, Skeeter. But for $200, show me the barrel. Show me the barrel. What? Show me the money. <laughs> I saw that. All right, Skeeter, how much of my money have you got? Let's see here, it's about $400. Well, $400 says that your girl is in this barrel. Thank you very much. Well, hang on a second. What you thinking him for? Oh, he was talking to the girl in the barrel. What you think about that? Show him the barrel. That's right, show me the barrel. <laughs> hey, Justin. Yeah? Do you like apples? Yeah. See, these two, they work for me. Hey, you like them apples? <laughs> You know, Skeeter, up until this point, you have taken just about all of my money. I got it. I got it. I got it. Now, taken is a very unfriendly word around these parts. Well, my apologies. What do your friends in the bar like to call it? A redneck 401k, baby. <laughs> Skeeter, I am down to the last $20 that I won from you when this whole mess started. I'm going to take it from you. <laughs> no, you aren't. You're going to give me the opportunity to win all of my money back. Why, you finally think you know where that girl is, huh? Hey, well, let's just say I've got a pretty good idea on where the girl is. Where do you think she's at? Well, for one, Skeeter, this is the last wagon in the arena. Secondly, while you had your back turned, your girl Lucy just gave your whole trigger away. What'd she do? Poked her head right up out of the barrel. Did they see it? Yes, Skeeter, everybody saw it. Now, for my last $20, show me the barrel. Show them the barrel. What? Oh, she was just in there. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Now hold on just a second, Skeeter. I, I don't get it. Of course you don't get it. I done took it off. 
I am not talking about my money, Skeeter. I'm talking about that girl, Lucy. What'd you do with her? Oh, well, I just put her back where I found her. Oh, back where you found her. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lucy! Oh, my goodness. That is incredible. Hey, hold on a second, Skeeter. Where are you going with all my money? I'm going to Dollywood. Well, folks, I am going to go hop on Scout and try to get some of my money back. But now we take you from Skeeter's magic to Miss Dolly's love of majestic butterflies. Kid growing up in the Smoky Mountains, I was fascinated with butterflies. I'd follow them around through the woods, thinking about how they do. You'll need any to go bags for the first time. Of course, I need to go bags. They just go about their business, being colorful. I've dreamed that I was one of them. They've always been my symbol.
talking about that big competition between the North and the South. So why don't y'all help me get it started with a great big stampede. All right, y'all get your hands clapping, come. Oh, y'all are sounding good. This time when I call on your side, I want you to show some real pride in your side. So stand up good and tall while you're hollering at the other side. Y'all ready? Here we go! Your cheers are getting louder, and I thank you one and all. But now it's time to see who's best by standing straight and tall. Everybody must comply by standing, don't forget. And if your neighbor won't get up, well, you can't sit where they sit. Stand up north. just how happy that makes me. Because I've got 32 more verses left to go. I'm joking, I'm joking. We're going to be heading for the bar this time around. But this time while you're standing, hooting, and hollering at the other side, I want you to throw a great big thumbs down and a big old boo in there while you're around. Now don't worry, it is all in good fun besides. You're never going to see these people again after tonight. So here we go! Last do it as loud as you can. Y'all ready? Here we go! This time we're going faster and I won't sing too long. Yeah, I'll scream and clap because it's time to end this song. Come on, Nord! Go ahead, tell them sound. Oh! in the spirit, yes, indeed. Last time, Nord. Supposed to be the one that gets to say Stampede! Now y'all give yourselves a big old round of applause. And may the best side win tonight's competition. Now our first event in here tonight features the equestrian skills, chatting, and teamwork of six of our talented riders. As you can see, our trusty hands are placing on that end of the arena. Flat north in the red, here comes Jason. There's Maddie and Kaylee. Right the south in the blue, here comes Lane. There's Jara and Tyler. Riders, go! And they're off down around the buckets, back to the supplies for the pickup. Folks, here's a tip for you. The louder you cheer, the faster they ride. Miss from the north. All right, 
here comes our second rider, Stubbs Two. South, you've got two. North, you have yet to get on the board. But what I want to know is who's going to win this event? Oh, yeah, and of course, talking about those world-famous racing pigs. Can I get a pink call from the crowd? Sweet! Folks, we are setting up for chop downs for two. Count on two breathtaking leads. It'll be the job of your size, piggy racers, to lead this start line. Head down the straightaway, around the bend, and all the way home to this beautifully held finishing banner. What are they racing for, Emma Jo? It's an Oreo cookie. Just as in life, the winner gets a cookie, the loser gets nothing but the crumbs. Folks, it is time to meet your sides, piggy racers. North racing for you in the red blankets. It's Orky and Petunia. South racing for you in the blue blankets. It's Hamlet and Hamburuja. These little piggies are fat free and ready to run. And on your marks, get set, go! And they're off. Southside down the road leads. Northside catches right back up on the first straight oh line. Takes the lead, keeps the lead on the end of the second straight line. And Northway! Congratulations, North. South, how'd you feel about that race? Now, I understand, but there's no reason to get all pig headed about it. Now, don't y'all worry, we're about to give you a snout to snout grudge match. As you can see, we've added some hurdles to the course. Y'all ever seen pigs fly? Well, you're about to, because here they come again. And they're off. Southside's got one of the make for 180. Drops back into second. Northside up over the first curve around the bend towards a second straight away home. Northside keeping the lead. Up over he goes. Southside still trailing. And North wins again. <laughs> Congratulations, North, on a clean sweep of tonight's big races. Oh, um, but now I need everyone to hold on to their seats because our next event requires some of the more steely-eyed, steady-handed members of our assemblage in here tonight. Folks, what we are looking for are a couple of real sharp shooters. Bring them on in here. That's right. <laughs> Come on, Danny. I asked for sharp shooters. Brought me out a couple of one big Power Rangers, man. I, I, <laughs> let's go ahead and meet them. Up for the North, what's your name, Mark? John. John, you're going to be representing the North. North, you give your man John a chance. <laughs> and for the South, what's your name? Donnie. Donnie, you're going to be representing the South. South, give your man Donnie a cheer. <laughs> All right, 
Shell, you are going to be representing North Sides, and we're just going to have ourselves a little horseshoe match in here tonight. But our horseshoes are a little different than the ones you have thrown at home, I can assure you. You see, fellas, we have got those smoky mouth regulation backwoods horseshoes. Turn around and take a look at those bathroom beauties that you'll be chucking in here tonight. It really brings a whole new meaning to the best seat in the house, huh? Now, here's how it's going to work. Each of our competitors are going to get three opportunities to throw their horseshoe at this target. Closest competitor to the horseshoe after all three are on the move with a flag and a medal for their side. North side, I'm going to have you throw first. North, you give him a big old round of applause. Come on! He's got that right hand delivery. It's up. Bounces right off the target. Rolls further than he would have liked. All right, south. Horseshoe number one, south side. Come on! He's also got that right hand delivery. It's up. Bounces off the target as well. It's going to be a close one. All right, horseshoe number two. North side, you know what to do. Rolls right over the target. All right, horseshoe number two for the south. South side, come on. It's up. Lands close. Well, since you are the closest, I'm going to have you throw your third and final horseshoe first. South side, come on. This is it. It's up. Lands right next to the target. All right, north side, this is your third and final throw. North side, cheer him on. He needs you. It's up. It's close, but that blue one is touching the target, making it a shoe-in victory for the side. The north side, you give your man a cheer. Thank you for coming down. Hold on, Dottie, we've got some stuff for you. You're a horseshoe champion in here tonight, man. Hey, who'd you bring out here with you? Your wife and the kids? Hey, wave at us, wife and kids. Where y'all on? Hey, are y'all proud of him? I mean, you should be. He's got no shame at all in throwing toilet seats in front of all these people. But you are a champion, Anna, my friend. Congratulations, Johnny. You just won the South their third victory! Now, as you can see, our trusty hands are setting up our barrel slalom course. That is for our barrel relay race. Now, the Barrel Relay Race is an action-packed event featuring an all-female riding team for the North and for the South as well. So let's meet the ladies riding for the North in the red. Here comes Maddie, Kaylee, and Allison riding for the South in the blue. There's Jara, there's Emma Jo, and Carly. You give them a cheer, South. They just won you your first victory. Now, North, don't worry, you will have plenty of opportunities. And they're off down around the barrels and back. We're moving in the entire time. There and back. There and back again. Straight away on the second time. Our second ladies are now entering the staging area. First ladies about to make their way on home. Second lady is running. Folks, remember the louder you cheer, the faster they ride. Scout's not in there. I would never put Scout in there. I never do that. Okay, good, but 
Skeeter, I'm pretty sure that everyone in this arena has seen a horse race before. Not like this one, they ain't. <laughs> Easy. Skeeter, what on earth kind of horses have you got in there? Biggins. Biggie fries? Biggie fries. They super sad. We're gonna get this thing started. Turn the case down. All right, north side. He runs for you. He's the mighty Hercules. South side. He's the one. The only good one. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let's get it on. And here comes Skeeter's Biggie horse. It's really Skeeter. Look at him go. Okay. Now, if you do fill one of those out, feel free to leave it in the little boxes marked surveys out by the exit doors. Thank y'all very much. All right, folks, it's time to take another quick look at the flags and medals on the wall. We are tied 4-2-4, four four, meaning that this next event is extra important for each side. You see, folks, we have searched high and low for some of your strongest, most energetic competitors in here tonight. I think it's time that we brought out the Bucket Brigade. Here's how it's going to work. Each of these audience competitors will have a place to stand and a bucket to hold. We're going to start down in the far end of the arena and fill those buckets up with one bucket all the way down to these funny looking contraptions over here. Now when these barrels fill up with enough water, the barrel goes down. The dagger on the other end goes up. The balloon will pop. And we will have ourselves a winning side. North, are you ready? Get set, go! And they're off. Now remember y'all, you want to move fast, but every drop of water counts. So be careful and try to keep those buckets as full as you possibly can. All right, north side gaining just a little bit of a lead over the south. South side not too far behind though. This could come down to how much water is in each of these buckets. Pretty good looking four from the north. Here comes the south of bucket number one. A little bit of spillage, but a pretty good looking four overall. North side already coming in with bucket number two. Folks, cheer and take all that hatred. Bucket number two coming in from the north. Bucket number two coming in from the south. Lots of spillage on each side. I think the next one could go for another team. It's going to be close. Here comes the north. Wait a minute. North side coming in from the Team of cheer, a truly fantastic effort. But North, you are our bucket brigade champions in here tonight. For our winning side, we have got a couple souvenir medals here. There we are. We got one for you, and last but most certainly not least, one for you. There we are. All right, y'all. There we are. Y'all follow Maddie on out that way. Can dance. Oh, a dancing cheeky. He's poultry in motion. <laughs> Folks, I am sure that you don't want to see this chicken dance, do you? <laughs> All right, spread your wings and fly there, Skeeter. Hit it, DJ! I know you get your legs warmed up. There you go. That's it. Now, hey, shake the tail. Chicken, move on one time. Come on, come on, now. Well, you know what we need. 
saying good to it's gonna be good night. Servers to the wall. On your mark, get set, go! Hey everyone, we just got out of the Dixie Stampede and Pigeon Ford or Dolly Stampede. I'm going to take a picture of the horses in the oh, stall. Look at the we got Zeke. Oh, they're all gone. There was more in here earlier. Anyways, this is our last night here. Tim wants to go home, so I'm all packed. I'm ready. And I hit the gift store and I got a little Sadie. 